Somebody recently was arrested for murder. I showed him a couple of pieces of magic. I mean, he, he confessed to doing it, long story short. I showed him several things, and he, he loved it, loved it. And he walked out of the station and said, hey, Ripley, when I get out of jail, I'm gonna hire you for my kid's birthday party. It was a positive interaction. And he was smiling, which is really ironic, because he was getting charged with the greatest defense in the Commonwealth. I've been a detective since 2005. First time it ever comes out that I ever do it in performance is here. Good coffee and also a good chance to practice. Just tap on one, that one, that, that one it is right here. I learned my first magic trick when I was 16 years old. I, I, I always knew the card tricks through high school, um, so you know, through college. It was helpful in social gatherings and stuff, just something fun to do. Um, I always had good dexterity with my hands um, from a young age. So it came easy to manipulate coins and objects in my hands. Magic for me, it's very rewarding, number one. When I first started studying it, I remember the month, December of 2015, we had a very, we had a spike in violent crime. And so, you know, a lot of police will work out, a lot of people work out to relieve stress and such, and, and I was doing that, but I wasn't quite getting it. And the timing was perfect, a magician that I knew, because I used to hire him for our FOP Christmas party for the kids, he had handed me a, pack, a little packet trick. I practiced it, I, I performed it for anybody and everybody. It didn't matter. Well, that kept me mentally occupied. So it, it, it got focus off of the work I was taking home mentally, because I couldn't sleep. Most nights I don't sleep that well anyway. It was a blessing. That led to me buying cards again. I, this was already a hobby and interest of mine, but I started studying it. Video, books, magazines, all, online subscriptions, just feeding myself knowledge so I could learn. And I quickly found the parallels with the job itself, like the police job, and, and magic. It, it's, there's, there's a lot of similarities in terms of the psychology behind it. I could watch something, a video, or, or a, a, read an article, and I could replicate it almost immediately. Right? And because my finger dexterity, I just could do it. It's weird. So then I, bought, I invested in cards. That's so why I had, I had 10 cards, 20 packs of cards, all these different cards, and then I started playing with coins again. I learned how to light things on fire, make things disappear, and it got to be where I was doing things that professional magicians were doing. So then when I'm realizing that, it was a fundraiser for York County Special Olympics, Cops and Lobsters, uh, and a guy I work with organizes it. It's a great event. That April of 2016, this was four months after, I decided I felt that comfortable being out there in public. I, instead of waiting tables, I did magic, table to table, to help raise money. I'm in law enforcement. I practice magic. Yeah, I do it in the coffee shop. Anywhere I go, I do it. I practice in what could arguably be the hardest place on earth, okay? In a police department, right? Trained professional observers, right? Who are suspicious of everything. Under surgical lighting, the beauty of it is, I can do it in there, where I work with my coworkers. Oh, I'm good, I go out in public, you know, restaurant, the bar, the park, I'm with my family on vacation. I'm good, thank you so much. <laughs>